this would be a very good place for you to come and get to learn some history. Now, Namugongo is the largest Christian pilgrimage destination in the whole of Africa, and amongst the pilgrims received are three popes, and that is Pope Paul VI in 1969, Pope John Paul II in 1993, and Pope Francis in 2015. Most of the martyrs were killed on 3rd of June in 1886. Matthias Mulumba, the eldest of them, and was killed at Old Kampala. Charles Wanga was burnt at the current location of the Namgongo Church. Dennis was speared by the Kabaka himself. Bagatu Zimbe was the son of the chief executioner, Mukajanga, who ordered him to be hit on the head. And he pleaded with the son to denounce Christianity but the son didn't denounce Christianity. The killing spread over a period of three years from 1885 to 1887, and a total of 45 Christians were killed, 22 of which were Catholics and 23 were Anglican. What we are seeing here is Charles Luanga baptizing the youngest martyr Chizito before the execution. Chizito was 14 years by the time of his execution. Charles wasn't a minister, but since he was already baptized, in case of any danger, one that was baptized would baptize another. Charles decided to baptize Chizito inside the palace before they were arrested. So we went ahead to tour the church, and these are the names of the Catholics that were killed here. Most of them were servants in the palace, and each of the doors here has a story of these matters. Charles was burnt in this place, and there was a tree species called the African flame tree right in the center of this church. He was 25 years at the time of his killing. Now this church can hold a capacity of up to 1,000 people and it is unique because it has the altar at the center, symbolizing Charles as the pillar. A piece of his backbone lies at the center of this church and his remains are spread out in most of the churches with the saints' names. All right, so what we are seeing here is the architectural design of the church. And uh, what you see here, this here, this here, this here. A few inches later. Okay, what we're seeing here is the architectural design of the shrine. And uh, this here, you see, is a pillar. If you look around the pillars all over, and these are 22 pillars. And these pillars signify the 22 saints, the martyrs that were martyred here in Namgongo. Well, if you look up at the church, you see that it has a very unique shape and that shape represents the African heart. And uh, these pillars represent firewood in that particular scenario of uh, the matters being burnt here. And the very top that you can see up there is a representation or signifies the flames of fire that burnt these matters down.
if you look behind me right here, that is the water, Namgongo. If you've heard about Namgongo water, this is the famous Namgongo water. And this water was used by the executioners to wash their hands after they did the execution. And uh, because the three popes that have come and celebrated mass in this place, it is believed that so many people get healing and they testify that they've received healing after using this water. So that is one of the reasons this water is significant and important to the Christians that come uh, all over, from all over the world to come and celebrate the Uganda matters here. Interestingly, not so many Ugandans come here. We've been told that the biggest percentage of people that come here on the 3rd of June are foreigners. People that come here to, to do tourism, to explore and find out what's happening here are not Ugandans. So I encourage every Ugandan to make time, come and explore this beauty. Actually, what you're seeing here was put to symbolize angels in heaven with raised hands celebrating what the martyrs did. What you see there, seeming like a light, is a light indeed, and it symbolizes the light that was in the hearts and in the souls of these martyrs as they were giving out what they gave out most their lives for Christianity and for the sake of their faith. Behind me, right there, is a point of celebration. That is a worship. You can see that the cross, it looks so good. And uh, Wow, this is a beautiful view. As we were learning the history of this place, we got to know that not everyone that was killed here was a Christian. Because this Namgongo was basically an execution point. For the king, if you'd done something wrong and the king wanted you out of action, this was a point of execution. So we had Christians that were killed who were Anglican, we had Catholics, there are also Muslims that were killed in this place. Thank you so much for watching this video to the very end and thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you subscribe and if you've liked this video, leave a comment at the end of this video and give me a thumbs up and see you in the next video.